that's like finishing my beer, I'm like, all right, I feel a little better. Nope, <laughs> I'm in a nightmare again. God damn it. We like, we like to keep you on edge here. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're just fucking working with me. <laughs> Christ almighty. started a punk band but um it, the equipment's expensive Winnie and I just started writing punk songs for cheap a washboard's you know 20 bucks on Etsy and a drum kit's you know fifteen hundred dollars a guitar center and, I mean after I mean after we got into it and kind of solidified our stances like well this is what we're gonna do I mean you know we're gonna kind of cut the distortion I'm gonna try to just make like a rocket sound with acoustic instruments I was like well I should probably you know I like how the banjo sounds there's a lot we can do with that but the mandolin's kind of like the lead solo acoustic instrument you know like anything you play on it kind of sounds like you hit a distortion pedal yeah you know, like one of the things specifically in your writing is voice you go from using a really super deep poetic diction that Soon I'll be building your caskets from scratch these bridges to storm of the storm to the storm <laughs> to fucking like perfectly plain English. Just like this is what I'm talking about. This is straight. Do you do that consciously? Is that something that you? It just work comes for? out. I think that's kind of a we're that might just be uh, a symptom of Whitney and my own manic uh, behavior. But yeah, it's like two fucking maelstroms of just manic uh, creative energy And we kind of just filter, and then, filter each other yeah. down into what Something that I hope could, is uh, yeah. consumable maybe by the human ear. Uh, there's like, you know, political songs and then there's like songs about, uh, you know, self-destructive relationships. Um, uh, but they seem like they're coming from the same place we talk about what affects us and what we i don't know that's like the biggest part of our music is like we don't go out of our way to write a song it just comes out if i'm really really mad at whitney about something it's the same exact emotion that i feel and i'm like really really mad at donald trump about something because i don't honestly if i'm being honest with you and me i don't care what you do as long as you're not, not like hurting, hurting anybody, anybody. Yeah. I just want I just I need to yell into the void what I feel because yeah. if I bottle it up I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. For me it's 
a lot to do with like unsaid things and like I don't know, kind of giving relief to like after I write a song that I've been waiting to write for years, I'm like I can finally let that like problem and that burden kind of leave and stay in that song instead of like harboring it inside of me. Is a band not doing their job if they're not singing about politics? That's not our job. God, I hope it's not. <laughs> if I was a politician, if I was in charge of anybody, I would fuck them up. That's why I don't have children, because they would die immediately. I can't take care of myself. How can I take care of a country? I'm a fucking lunatic. Like, every, everyone would be so fucked. So like I yeah I'm not I don't think that I think a, the job a job our jobs as artists is to do what makes us feel good in the hope that it's gonna make somebody out there that feels lonely feel better and connect. It's kind of like comic I'm, relief. I've been thinking a lot lately about <coughs> the future that we're going into and the role that we play in that. I guess what I'm asking is. Do you guys have an image of a world that you want to live in? Of course. And what does that look like for you? You know, have you ever seen Fern Gully? <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed uh, people in the music community who are writing political music stuff? Oh, definitely. Like, yeah. like, I gotta, well, like, I mean, we have to I, do something now. You have like, to think, is, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, in times when shit gets really fucked up, the people that aren't fucked up band together to, you know, really have each other's backs, uh, you know, to, to fucking make sure that the, make sure that the planet doesn't implode on itself. When, you know, when times get rough, the, you know, the, the tough get going. Yeah. Right, right? Is that how it goes? That's what I'm saying. Are those the lyrics to a DMX song? <laughs> rough Riders! Yeah, Rough Riders, that's right. <laughs> There's a situation happening that, that these DIY bands are starting to do these huge international tours and shit, uh, yeah. which I, like, I, there's no kind of precedent, I don't think, at least in modern history for how that works, and I'm, I'm wondering how you guys are navigating that from uh, the business angle, like, how She's do you... She's the fucking business lady. Okay. I, like... I just... She's a... <laughs> yes. We love the DIY scene, and we love yeah, the business, yeah. and it's awesome, but we also want to be able to support ourselves doing this. Right. There's a weird balance, for sure. But the amount of times that we've been called sellouts, when we do everything ourselves, like networking is a huge, huge thing, and convincing people that you are worth listening to, that you're worth it. Like, you're worth it. What we do is completely and 100% community based. When we go up, our friends go up, you know, and that's like the whole thing about it. It's DIT, it's not DIY. Yeah. We'll do it together. together. Okay, but DIY has such a better ring to it. <laughs> like, DIY, like, though, when you have so many friends. But. So, what the fuck is going on over here? <laughs> <laughs> That's, I, well, wait, what were we talking about? I, I kind of forgot. I Jeff threw me off. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. What the fuck? What a matter if I live or die? What's on dead? The sky will still be blue. I'm no catalyst for change. It's another breathing thing. Taking up a bit of room. Everything's so fucked. It's comical. Matter if we just quit breathing our hearts Cause he's being and who thinks twice Life's a gamble and tomorrow's ever promised So fuck I still have to roll the dice Everything's so fucked it's comical We gain up to drag The worst part that I know This is anything close to how devastating we said Everything is gonna get
think about is how the story ends and all the lessons that I've yet to learn. There's the preacher, the pastor, stuck in between, the only prince that I feel comfortable living. It's really good and bad that I would before everything is a hell of a hand bag. Time will keep on ticking, here it's all too good spinning. Fight with one, we are, we fear, we feel one day we almost die. Take one more breath and say goodbye. So why the fuck do we obsess over success and failure as long as we're breathing?